Do you want to torture villagers? Do you want to kill your friends? Well, you have clicked the right video because we're going to be making some different kinds of torture devices used back in the medieval ages. Hello everyone, this is Suna and if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and let's get right into the video. Before we start the video, I want to say congratulations to Zivo for winning the Minecraft Heads Halloween contest and including me on his build. You can check out his socials in the description below. He's a really good builder, I recommend you check him out and again, congratulations. Thanks to everyone who submitted their fan arts. If you want to share your fan art, you can send it on my official Average Duna Discord server. The invite link will be in the description below. Make sure to read the rules and regulations and reacting to it so you can chat in my Discord. For our first torture device, we will be creating a pillory. Now, if you don't know what pillory is, it's used to imprison a person and expose to public abuse. The pillory has three holes, one for the head and arms on each side. And there we have a simple pillory design. If you want to imprison Steve in the pillory, you will be needing his head, item frames on each side, white terracotta for his hands, and an armor stand which we will be putting on his backside. And using redstone block and piston, we can push the spruce stairs to cover up his body. And there we have a Steve imprisoned in the pillory. For bedrock users, we can replace his hands using a jungle button because in bedrock, you cannot place an item frame and a sign in the same place. It is also the same color palette as his skin color which looks much better. For our next one, we will be creating a gallows. Start with a 5x5 space and fences on each side. For the platform, we will be using an oak planks. You can use spruce planks if you want but I prefer you use oak planks to match the fences underneath it. Now add stairs to the left side. Doesn't matter if you put it in the middle or the right side. Then using oak fence, we will be creating the arch. The arch will be 5 blocks high. Now in the middle, we can use a fence gate as the rope, which looks close to the real ones. Below it will be a small stool using spruce trapdoor. And there we have a gallows. Now I know it's not working but it looks realistic. You might be familiar with this next one. This torture method is called burn to death or burning at the stake. To do this, we will be needing an armor stand to create Steve again. Then using piston, we can push the granite pole and a jungle fence on top. Lastly, grab your flint and steel and we will be burning him because of his punishment. And there is Steve being burned to death. Sorry Steve. <laughs> if you're building a dungeon, then this Iron Maiden will be perfect to add. All you need is the spruce planks and a spruce trapdoor. The spruce trapdoor will be placed on each side. Then add a spruce slab on top with skeleton skull on the front. Using a coral fan, we can create the spikes inside of the maiden. And lastly, add a spruce door on the front and there you have an iron maiden. Here's what it looks like when you go inside of the iron maiden. The coral fan makes you look like you got spike from the inside which I think looks very cool and looks painful. Ouch. Before we continue to the video, I noticed that many of you watching aren't subscribed to the channel yet so if you are intrigued and want more epic build hacks in the future then make sure to click subscribe, it's free, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Enjoy the rest of the video!
Another torture device to add to your dungeon is the rack. If you don't know what that is, I will insert a picture on the corner. It is very simple to make as you only need a spruce slab, a spruce fence gate, a cobblestone wall on the right side, and a trapdoor on each side of the cobblestone wall. Simple as that, we now have the rack. The trapdoor will be the spinning wheel to stretch the person and the fence gate to tie up the person. And of course, every dungeon or your torture room gotta have an electric chair. All you need is a spruce slab, place the spruce trapdoors on each side, and the back will be the oak door. Of course, you will be needing a skeleton skull to be placed on top of your head. Now we have a simple electric chair. But the problem is the skeleton skull is floating on top which looks weird. We need to fix that using cobblestone wall and an armor stand. Push the armor stand to the cobblestone wall and break the flat form under it. Right click the trap doors as seen and the skeleton skull is now attached to the armor stand which makes the electric chair look detailed. To finish it all off, we will add a lever to the wall as part of the electric chair. Same as the electric chair, we will make a torture which is even more brutal than the previous one. For sure lots of us already knows this and this torture looks painful. Ouch. And of course the most common torture device ever known to a human is a guillotine. You probably hear this a lot, a guillotine is a torture device in which the person is decapitated by a very sharp blade on top which instantly kills the person. Now I will be using a banner and a terracotta as the blade and a chain to hang the blade on top. Let's now create the blade using banners. You can pause the video so you can follow. Once that's done, place the two banners in the correct sides like this. And you now have a guillotine. To make it realistic, add a sleeve head in a nether warp as the blood. There you go, there's your guillotine. And that's 8 torture devices in Minecraft. Unfortunately, the video ends here. If you want more build hacks in the future, then make sure to subscribe. It's free. You can unsub anytime if you want. And make sure to like the video and share it to your friends. Until then, this is Tuna, signing out.